Hi everyone, welcome to another show. Today I have a Devi Wundi with me. Devi, welcome. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Would you like to tell us a bit about yourself, Devi? My name is Devi Wundi. I'm a third generation Indian uh, from the Indian settlers who arrived in Fazulu Natal all those years back. And since it's passing it on, mm -hmm. I thought I'd do a show about something that I learned from my mom. Yes. This dish is katla and sweet rice. Normally served at festivities and prayers, mm -hmm. but there's no reason for us not to make it and enjoy it as a dessert. Okay, okay. shortly we're going to go into our ingredients. Baby, so tell us what do we need to make this lovely dish? Okay, we need white rice. Mm -hmm. It's different to the normal cooking rice that we use at home. Mm -hmm. This is white and the grains are shorter okay. and it break down, breaks down more easily. So for somebody that is just going to make it for the first time, if they go to the supermarket and they go into the aisle where they have the rice and stuff, they can just look for normal white, white rice. rice. Okay, perfect. Then you need sugar, mm -hmm. you need almonds, mm -hmm. you need butter. You can use fruit, dried fruit, such as raisins. Some coconut, mm -hmm. we have milk and a pinch of salt. Okay. We and also need ilachi to bring out the flavor and make it typical Indian mm -hmm. to a rice pudding. Okay. So that is what we need for the sweet rice. That part we 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 uh, we cook first mm -hmm. because this takes a bit longer. Okay. So here we have the katla which is pre-boiled already. Uh, we just need to fry it in oil for a little while, five minutes. For that we need the katla. This is black gram. Mm -hmm. which so is, is it chickpeas? It's not a nut, eh? It's not a nut, it's a legume. Okay. Okay, then we have some oil. Mm -hmm. We have uh, mustard and jeera seeds. Yes. And we have onion, curry leaf and dry chilies. These are typical South Indian spices mm -hmm. that would make this taste good because these, these are tasty. It's quite bland now. It's, it's bland. And it also gives flavor and it's good for your well-being as well because these actually are good for illnesses. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. Um, how long does this meal take to prepare or this dish? This takes 40 minutes uh, after soaking. This takes 5 minutes. To put it all together, it would take about 50 to 60. Okay, great. So we're going to start with our cooking truck. Yes, yeah. So we're ready to start with this lovely dish. We've actually just put our water to boil a bit and then we're going to start with our brains of our crackle. Okay, maybe you want to run us through this? Yes. First we got our pan on the stove mm -hmm. and as it's heated, we'll add a little bit of oil to braise the katla. So you don't need a lot, you just need a just little bit? Just need a little because we don't want it to be oily. Okay. So once that gets a bit hot, mm -hmm. which it is, if you can pass me that spoon, we'll add our dry seeds because they need to cook off in the oil. Okay, so you braise your seed first? Yes ma'am. So we're busy with our mustard seed and jeera seeds that's fried. So it has to fry off mm -hmm. because if it's raw, then it's got a raw taste and it's not going to make your dish taste very nice. It's going to still be raw. Okay. So it needs to burst in that oil and sizzle. This is a lot like how you would braise doll. Okay. Yes. The same, the same concept. Okay, this is sizzling very nicely now. You can see they're popping all over. Yes. We've add our onions, mm -hmm. dry chili, and curry all together. Yes. And this also is along the way. Mm -hmm. You just sizzle and pop and crack all over the place, but don't be afraid. It's all exciting. It's all part of the cooking. Yes. Process. Yes. So the onion will cook a bit mm -hmm. until it uh, changes, so it becomes uh, darker. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, and then we'll add it. Right. So we'll add a little bit of salt now. What the salt does as well, it prevents the onion from browning too much. Okay, I didn't know that. Yes. It prevents the onion from browning mm -hmm. too much and catching at the bottom. Alright. Yeah, it brings out the liquid from the uh, I mean, onion in the most
So let's change the color, mm -hmm. as you can see. Yes. And we can add that. Alright, thank you. I actually enjoy the cafe on the phone. It's a weird combination cafe and sweet rice for some folks who are not used to it. You think it's weird, but it works. It's beautiful together. The savory and the sweet. But you have to have an acquired palate, but after a while you do get used to it. If somebody wants to use chickpeas, can they use that? This is the, the, the black chickpeas. There's a white chickpeas that used in green cooking. Mm -hmm. It's just fine. It's a chickpeas. Okay. So do you see the oil is coating it nicely? Yes. It's coming together quite well. Mm -hmm. And you can you can get the aroma of it, it braising. So that's what you want. Yeah, at this point, while this is cooking here, mm -hmm. we can add our rice into that boiling water. Mm -hmm. so what we want is, for the rice, this, this has been soaking for two hours, mm -hmm. right? Why do you do that? Why do you soak it? Soaking helps it to break down easily and helps in the cooking process. It's, it's a, shopping, a shorter cooking process. So we've got that boiling water going. We just... Maybe not rice. Yes. Do you add salt to the rice when you A pinch of salt to bring out the other flavors, mm -hmm. which is the sugar and the milk. Okay. With any sweet dish like the cakes, you would add a little bit of sugar mm -hmm. to add a salt to bring out the flavor. Right. Thank you. Some water. If it does catch a little bit, you add a little bit of water. 
Alright, so we're going to be back in a few minutes um, once our rice is boiled on a bit. So after another 10 minutes, can you tell us what's going on here? Our rice has cooked and swelled up and broken down quite nicely. Mm -hmm. if, if you do this, it must break and smash easily. So that's what it's doing, so it's perfect. So that's the way you know your rice is cooked? Yes. And then we're ready for the other ingredients to be added in. And so you're going to do this all in the same pot? Yes, ma'am. Okay. At this stage, we add a little bit of milk. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring it all together. You see the color changes? Yes. It becomes whiter. Already it's taking shape. Mm -hmm. To that we'll add a little bit of coconut. This is why the preference. You don't have to. You don't want to, you, you don't have to. Okay. Ilachi powder, cardamom. Mm -hmm. um, if I don't want to, wait, can I eliminate this or do I have to? No, this is a must. This is, a this must. is what makes it an Indian dish mm -hmm. as opposed to a rice pudding that you will okay. that the Western version of it. Alright. So we can eliminate the uh, coconut powder, but the ilachi powder is a must. Yes. Whatever you add in mm -hmm. is a preference. It, 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 it can be as simple as you want or as rich as you want. Okay, now for somebody that doesn't know the measurement, I see you've just sprinkled with yes, your hands. It's more like a feel thing, that's what uh, I've done. Okay. For, for somebody that's just going to do this, would you say a teaspoon? A teaspoon is perfect. A teaspoon, okay. Okay, if you're happy with that amount of ilachi mm -hmm. and you can smell the aroma of the dish, mm -hmm. then you're ready to start adding a little bit of butter. Before we add the sugar, we add butter because we need it to melt into the pot. So you're using choice butter? Choice butter. You can use uh, margarine, rama. Rama is fine. Okay. Um, 
Tell us why you done this little display for us. Since this is a typical South Indian dish, mm -hmm. and these are the colors of South India. This is a little scarf that I have with the with the Punjabi, and it's rich in South Indian colors. You'll find the ladies in South India have Banaras society, yes. have or Kanji Lalu society, they look a lot like this. So I thought just for display purposes, we can have a little bit of color up there. Lovely. Okay, so now we're going to be dishing out our, well, um, sorry, our sweet rice with our curry. Yes. Can you do that for me? Okay. As I told you earlier, Michelle, you can serve this together. I told you it might be a weird combination to some people, the savory and sweet. But when you taste it, you'll see that it goes. I actually prefer both together. Yes. So what I'm going to do is, we can serve this as a dessert on its own. Mm -hmm. And if you want to have it for afternoon tea, you can have it with the curry. We want to see the dish. We've seen what it looks like, and we want to taste it. So I'll give you a little bit to try, mm -hmm. we'll do it together, okay. and exactly. you can judge. Okay, great. It's actually one of my favorite desserts. Oh, then I'm so happy that I made it for you. So this is do or die, baby. Do yes. or die. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely divine. Thank you. So there we have it guys. Some sweet rice with cutlet. David, thank you so much for coming on and showing us this lovely dish. We hope to see you soon with more lovely recipes. I shall be back and thank you for having me and God bless you. You as well. So guys, there we have it. Take care and God bless. Remember that cooking is love made perfect. So keep sharing the love. And as you can see, I hope you enjoyed this lovely South Indian dish that we've made for you. Until our next episode.